good YouTube, man? It's Gary with the Fan TV, man. Back at you know, the video, at the content video. Go ahead, smash that like button at the content channel. Go over here, subscribe, man. Look, so the Ravens make their first uh, move with a legal tampering period today, and that is cutting a uh, veteran Calais Campbell, all right? Now, this is a big move, right? Calais Campbell has been a defensive leader on the team for the last three seasons, but, you know, this is one of the moves that you could kind of see coming, right? The Ravens had a couple of options when it came to Calais Campbell. That was either um, cut him like they did, all right, or that was extend his contract, right? Um, I think this year his cap hit was going to be something like $9 million, and they ended up cutting him, which saved him about $7 million in the cap. So the Ravens are doing all these moves to get cap compliant by um, by Wednesday, and like I said, this, this move saves them $7 million on the cap, so it makes sense for the Ravens to cut Calais Campbell. Now, what I did find interesting is the fact that in the, um, you know, the, the newsletter that, that they put out saying that, that they cut Calais Campbell, they didn't rule out him coming back. All right. So this very well could just be a move to cut him, bring him back at a lower number, which works for both sides. So instead of extending out his contract, bring him back for a one year deal at a lower number that both sides can agree upon and work out and, and that they like. Right. Because uh, Calais Campbell might not want an extension on his contract, and the Ravens might not want to do that. So um, it makes sense in that terms. Uh, but you know, the Ravens are going to miss Calais Campbell if this is it for him. You know, as far as being a Raven, he goes to decide to go somewhere else because I'm pretty sure Calais wants to continue playing. Um, I think he's around like he's close to that hundred sack number. I know he wants a hundred sacks really badly. Um, I think he's at. Hold on, let me look at it real quick. Wow. Calais Campbell's at 99 sacks for his career. So, yeah. So, I know he wants to come back, get one more sack, get that, get into that triple digits because that's that's a very prestigious club to be in. Um, so, it makes sense for him to come back uh, for, you know, a team in general who's trying to win games, who's trying to get to that Super Bowl. Um, we'll, see what he, we'll see what he does. I mean, I remember last year, last offseason, when um, I think he was hosting the Super Bowl or he was one of the people at the Super Bowl, whatever. And he said that, you know, watching that game got him pumped up and he he wants to be in this game. He wants to compete in this game. He wants to come back for that kind of game. So I think this year's going to be no different. I think we're going to find Clarence Campbell on a new team. Well, well not, not a new team, but uh, a team that's competing for a Super Bowl. However, we check it out, whether that's in Baltimore or somewhere else. Um, I think Clarence meant a lot to the team, you know, kind of like Chuck Clark, you know, veteran leader. Good guy in the locker room, a guy that you could always depend on. When Calais is out there, he's giving maximum effort. And even at, I think he's 36 years old now, even at that age, he's still a really, really good football player. He never really feels like a liability when he's out there on the field. Um, at points this year, uh, you could say that he's probably the Ravens' best um, run stuffing, you know, a guy in the interior. And he, he still got some passion ability to him. I mean, Calais Campbell is a good player. Uh, let me let me see. Right now, you know, he was 36 years old last year. Last year, he had five and a half sacks. I mean, he was ultra productive, you know, coming off of uh, 2021 when he only had one and a half. So if the Ravens could bring Calais Campbell back at a lower number that makes sense for both sides, I would love to see it happen. But right now, Ravens got to make moves underneath the cap. And Calais Campbell was one of those moves. So I wouldn't take it as he's gone forever. It's definitely a possibility. But, you know, we'll probably know more um, as the weeks go along, uh, get further along in the weeks as, you know, what happens with Calais Campbell. So um, if that is it for him in Baltimore. Like I said, it's been a great ride for Calais Campbell here. I feel like he's been one of the more important players on defense for the last three years in Baltimore. And I think the Ravens have some good young guys on the interior that, uh, of that defensive line that can possibly, you know, step up. You know, you got your matter BK, you got your Project Washington, um, you bring it back, Michael Pierce, you got Brent Irving, you know, you know, those two guys aren't necessarily young guys, but you got some other guys there. So, but if Calais was able to come back, that'd be a major, major addition. But for now, the Ravens cut Calais Campbell, save $7 million in cap space. And, uh, yeah, we're waiting on some more moves. So let me know what you think, um, in the comments and I'm gonna get out of here, man. It's Gabriel, just on the fan TV. I'm out.